Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, show current date and time in your uh, Eclipse GUI application. Uh, I'm also going to show you how to make a simple digital clock uh, in your uh, JFrame for example. So I have this blank uh, JFrame and in here I will demonstrate how to do it. So first of all to show this date and time I will take a label and I will name it this label as clock for example and I will just make it a little bit bigger so we can see date and time okay and I can change the font size of this to bold and for example 30 for example okay now I want to show date and time here so what I'm going to do is I will go to my source code and search for the constructor for example this is my constructor constructor has the same name as your class name so you can find the method which has the same name as your class name just go above that constructor and we are going to make a public method here but first of all make sure that your label is global so when you drag and drop your label in your frame and my label name was label clock you see here uh, whenever I have uh, dragged and dropped this label inside my form it's uh, by Eclipse it's created locally okay so you can make it global by just copying this declaration and delete this class J label and leave this name as here as it is and make the declaration of this J label above whenever wherever your class is class is uh, starting so this is your class and this is the code starting in the class just make it a private member of the class and declare it global so this will become blue in my case and this will become also blue so this is a global variable so we can use it in other method other than the constructor also right now go above your constructor and here I'm going to make a public method so I will say public what we can uh, uh, give the name to our uh, method for example public void clock clock okay and I will give the these two curly braces and in here this should be public public okay now to show the date and time uh, in your label for example you need to uh, get the time from somewhere so you can get the time from the ob uh, or from the class calendar in your uh, Java application so just write calendar which is a part of java utils okay so just take this calendar and then give it a name cal for example is equal to new and here you can decide which uh, class of date and time you want to use i'm going to use gregarian calendar so i can write gregarian calendar and close it okay now this calendar object you can use it to get uh, for example month or uh, year day second anything so for example I want to get uh, int for example day first day and this will be is equal to cal just use this cal object dot get and inside this you can uh, use this calendar class to call the day so calendar dot uh, day of month you have to write day of month okay so in day you are getting day of month right in the same way you can get uh, month year so month this is for year and for example you also want to get 
second hour and minutes for example so I'm also going to show you how to get that but first of all let's uh, make it month first this should be month okay and this should be calendar dot month okay and third variable will be our year year and this should be dot year and then we take second minute and hour so the fourth variable name I will name it as second fifth variable name I will name it as um, minute and fifth variable name I will name it as hour and in here calendar dot second will come right second calendar dot second and in here calendar dot minute will come calendar dot minute and in here hour will come calendar dot hour okay so in this way you can get uh, the values of uh, these date and time here and now you just need to set these values to your uh, label for example so my label name was label clock okay just use that label and just write label dot set text and in here you can set the text so for example I will just write here first of all time time give it a space and I will use my hour variable first of all to show the time so I will use this concatenation operator to show the time and then in double quotes once again I will give a little space or you can give this colon sign and then in here I will give month and once again take this colon and then seconds okay and give here this plus operator and then I'm going to show the date so in double quotes this is just a concatenation of string if you're wondering why I'm doing time plus hour plus this and this this is just to make our strings which can uh, give us logical time so this is just concatenation of the strings right and here I'm going to show the date date little space and then the date will come so date for date I can show year first of all year and then for for date I will use this slash symbol right then the month and then I'm going to copy this and then day okay so this is how I can show it but you need to use this clock method somewhere so go to your constructor which is this one right and in here you can just use your inside your constructor just call this um, method called clock or if you have second from you can just go to the end of your uh, end of your uh, constructor and just use it so this is my application window that's why I can see initialize and initialize method is here but if you have jframe you can just go to the last of your uh, constructor code and paste this method there okay run the program and hopefully we will see this you see here the time is 629 58 second you can match it from here right now it's 60 uh, 630 so but this time is not moving right this time is not moving 
So for example, you want uh, running time, then how you can show it. I'll make this test a little bit small so that it can fit to the frame. Okay, now it will fit to the frame. Now for example, you want to show running time, right? This is just a static time which you want to uh, which you, which is which it is showing. For example, you want to uh, show us running time, how much set second is uh, going on, 30, 31 or running time. How can you do it? You can use threads for that. So go to your clock method once again. And in here we are going to define a thread. Thread is general is not uh, so what is a thread? Thread is a small process which is uh, which can run differently from your process so that your process is also going on and thread is also going on. So we will create a thread. Just write thread and I will name this thread as uh, clock for example. Clock is equal to new thread. And this thread, uh, what I'm going to do is just give uh, this two curly braces. So I will start the thread inside my method and then I will declare a public method which will run by itself. So I will write um, or do I need to do this? Yeah, I think I need to do this. So public void run and then in here I will just write the code okay so this is a thread and what we need to do here I think we don't even need to use this but we will see I will just add a semicolon here for now so I have uh, created a thread inside that thread I have this method called run and this uh, in this method what I'm going to do is I will sleep for a thousand seconds so I will just write sleep and this sleep takes milliseconds so I will say for one second I will provide thousand seconds okay so I want to uh, sleep for thousand seconds and when you do that it will show an error or this red line because you need to uh, surround this by try catch block because um, it can uh, show error also it's, it can throw error also so just hover over this second and you will see here surround with try catch okay just click this surround with try catch and it will be surrounded with the try catch okay and now just above your sec seconds or uh, just above uh, this uh, try catch block I will just copy my code which I was I have written to show the uh, show this date and time in the label I'll just copy and cut all the code and just above this second or sleep uh, code I'll paste my co code okay so just above the sleep you paste all the code to show the date and time in your label okay so this is a thread which will start immediately whenever your fo form loads because we are calling this method here and this thread will go uh, go on until and unless your form is running so I'll run my program and let's see if it works or not so it's uh, not working let's see why yeah I know why because I have created a thread but I haven't started this thread right so just take this clock variable or clock object of the thread this one thread clock is equal to new th uh, thread just take this 
and after the end of this curly braces after the thread declaration just write clock dot start this will start your thread okay and now hopefully we will be able to see our running time and it's not running let's see why okay so I know why this is not running because we have called our method in my initialize uh, or, or after this in my constructor but this method is only running once it's not uh, running continuously why because we haven't provided any loop here to show the time okay so in this method run public void run and in the try block you can what you can do is you can make a infinite for loop to run it for you know forever so you can just write blank for loop which will run until and unless your application will run and like this th what this code will do is this blank uh, for loop will do is it will never end it's never ending loop okay so either you can uh, uh, make never ending loop like this for and blank semicolons here or you can just write while and you can say while true it's also a never ending loop so you can choose two ops two options from uh, one option from two I will use this for loop which is a never ending loop and I will run the program once again and hopefully this time we will succeed so you see the time is running now okay 27 28 and it will also change this uh, minutes also once it goes to 60 let's wait and let's see if this changes or not minutes changes or not from 40 to 41 So there is one more thing that you must use these threads whenever necessary because it takes uh, memory in your program. So yes, it changes for uh, this minute to 40 to 41. That means it's running fine. So in this way, you can use uh, date and time and show it in your uh, form. And in this way, you can make a running clock in your Eclipse GUI application. I will just uh, show this code once again if you want to copy this code you can just pause this video and copy all the code and then you will be good to go I hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now